hello welcome to top of real estate um today episode um just gonna give you an update on theory on go it's going well for me and everyone that got in the last couple of days uh i put pretty much one ETH in here and now i'm at 1.15 and i think it's been about three days and i have seven dollars in dividend so this was at 220 and now i'm at 260. I recently got in a contract on about $280 to $285, $290. So I'm already at uh, $264 plus this. So it's around like $270. So I'm already, already around like $270. So it's going well better than I expected. And now we are almost, we have 17, over 17,000 Ethereum in here. Uh, when I got in, it was about 12,000. So we picked up 5,000 Ethereum and Ethereum Gold. So it's doing well, money making money for me. And it's holding holding its value. So that's going well. And we take a look at the side of our real estate uh, money tree. Um, I moved Bet Ferry up. So I've been paying Kino on this, having a little fun with it. Um, some adult entertainment. Right here, so I have a lot of uh, <coughs> downtime with the quarantine and everything, stores, and so this is a lot of stuff uh, still close. So I've been I've been on Kino, um, been playing this and try to uh, my goal just try to keep it simple. Try to only do like two thousand satoshi. So I'm go ahead and do this right now. Play a little Kino. I wish they had the sound. I didn't even talk to them. The sound don't work on here. Let me try to turn it right off. Y'all lose, y'all lost. I'm multiply it. I meant to multiply it, I messed up. That was a loss, my. It's them all over the place, I messed up. Let me lower that. 32. All right, that's that. I gotta, I gotta get some music playing or something, but I'm on YouTube, you really can't play any music. Uh, so let me, uh, let me pause it and get, get something I can play in the background. I got something I can play. And nobody believes in it. You can't worry about yesterday because yesterday is not coming back to look for you. Who speaks to the broken? Who speaks to the individuals that's still in the process? I'm dropping this for you. I'm telling you to keep going when you face opposition. I'm telling you to keep going when you face adversity. Believe in everything that you are and understand that within you there's something greater than any obstacle you will ever face. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, it's going to get lighter. But that's not the truth. The truth is, you got to find something within. He's going to have to dig deep inside his soul to break out that king. But I'm telling you to get rid of the things that's not giving you the strength that you need to keep living the life that you have been given. When you come over depression, you raise your arms like a champ. When you overcome bankruptcy, you raise your arms like a champ. When you come over divorce, raise your arms in victory. You have the warrior spirit in your soul. You have the warrior mindset. That dream is not going to just sit there and wait for you to come and get it. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. You got nothing left in your tank. You gotta think about the people in your life that you're going to this home. And then if you can think about them, you can go one more mile. You can go one more day at work. Live. Breathe. Life. You. That's what it's about. You have time.
you have the knowledge and the willpower and the discipline to get it done. Your heart, your life, your happiness is your responsibility and your responsibility alone. One day you're going to realize your life is yours and there's a lot of people important to you that surround it but ultimately it's yours. Then you must decide where you want to invest this life. Invest in something worthwhile. You have to picture yourself there. Wherever it is, you've got to picture yourself there. All right, the next step is you've got to believe it. Number one in your life's blueprint should be a deep belief in your own dignity, your own worth, and your own somebodyness. Don't allow anybody to make you feel that you are nobody. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. They were going to make a change, and then they made it. And this is your moment. It's not tomorrow. It's not next year. It's not when you're going to graduate. It's right here, right now. And every choice you make, you're impacting that thing. We're going to be lying. You know, when a lion is itching, when a lion is bleeding, he licks his wounds, and he keeps walking. Your time is one of the most powerful tools you will ever have. Lay hold of it! You lay hold of it! And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will be like a shark. You will think like a shark. And you can't go backwards. And if you stop swimming, you will die! If life knocks you down, try and land on your back. Because if you can look up, you can get up. This is the year of the world. Act like you hear me. This is the year of the world. This is the year of the world. Act like you. The moment and the time for you to change your life is now. Always feel that you count. Always feel that you have worth. And always feel that your life has ultimate significance. You choose what you're looking for because what you look for, you find. That's how life works. Make good choices, great things happen. But you've got to believe in you. So believe. I've heard it all in my career. All the bullshit excuses and the lies people tell themselves. They say things like, I'll start Monday. It's not my fault. It's not fair. I'm too damn tired. Or my personal favorite, I don't have enough time. Wow, that was a big win right there. Let's have a real talk. I hit a 12 X on here. You know what kind of people do and say these things? Losers. They have a loser mentality through and through. And until they recognize that the problem is them, they'll never improve. Until they develop a winner's mentality, they'll never get what they truly want. What's a winner's mentality, you ask? It means being focused on yourself and not other people. It means having desire. It means wanting it. Willingness to work for it. You simply have to give it everything you have to get it. You need to shut down all negativity and frankly not give a shit what others say and think. You want to know what the 10 most dangerous words in the English language are? What will other people say? And what will other people think? You're the only person who needs to be okay with how you live your life. You could be hated by everyone. If you're okay with your actions and behavior, you'll be content. At the same time, you could be loved and adored by every damn person on the planet. But if you're not okay with how you live your life, you'll go to bed with emptiness. The losers we discussed earlier, there'll never be a shortage of them. People who throw hate your way because of how you live your life. And there'll never be a shortage of people who want to see you fail. So the key is to just do you. 
Do what makes you happy and do what you think is right. At the end of the day, if you and you alone can look yourself in the mirror and be content with the choices you made, then that's all that matters. Believe in everything that you are and understand that within you there's something greater than any obstacle you'll ever face. Have faith in your abilities. Work hard, never give up, and there's nothing you can't accomplish. With the right amount of confidence, anything is possible. No matter what you set out to do, your first word should always be, I believe in me. The most important person to believe in is always yourself. Keep going because there's people that don't want to see you succeed. Keep going because you want to prove those people wrong. You want to knock the naysayers down. You want to make them your footstool. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, it's going to get lighter. But that's not the truth. The truth is, you got to find something within. I'm telling you to keep going when you face opposition. I'm telling you to keep going when you face adversity. I'm telling you to keep going because... It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy gone, when you have nothing left, that's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way, when you find breath that you don't have, when you find energy that did not exist, when you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you find a way. If you look at anyone that's happy or successful in life, it's because they know how to keep fear in check. When you want something new and fear pipes up and tells you you can't have it, you've got to say, yes, I can. When you want to try something new and fear pipes up and tells you you shouldn't do it, you've got to say, yes, I should. When you want to go somewhere new or be with someone new and fear pipes up and says you won't do it, you've got to say, yes, I will. You got to find something within and that's got to push you and that's got to elevate you and that's got to drive you and that's got to move you. You were created to reach your destiny. You have the power and the ability to reach your destiny. So keep going because I can't quit. I can't stop. I can't get tired. I can't give up. I can't give in. My mama counting on me. My wife is counting on me. Listen to me. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. When you ain't got nothing left in your tank, you got to think about the people in your life that you're doing this for. And then if you can think about them, you can go one more mile. You will go one more day at work. Keep going because you're recreating history and leaving a legacy. But we must keep moving. We must keep going. If you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, crawl, but by all means, keep moving. Yes, it hurts sometimes when you feel alone. It hurts sometimes when you're in that dark place and you feel no one cares about you. The first thing you got to realize is that you got to love yourself. It's about self-love. Start understanding that if you're going to do something with your life, you got to fall in love with yourself again. You got to stop self-hating yourself. Do something that's going to make you a better person. Make an impact in this world. Don't look at it as though it's something that you got to do temporary. Although we know that life is short. Like many people in this world, they didn't realize that the next day they was going to be diagnosed with a cancer. They thought that tomorrow was going to be waiting for them and they did not wake up. But you are still living. Now what do you have to do? How are you going to move forward? How are you going to proceed your life? Life is not a game. Life is living. There's the good and there's the bad and there's definitely the right now. 
You can't wait for somebody else to make your life better. You got to make your life better. You got to focus on you. Now I'm not saying forget the rest of the people, but I'm telling you to get rid of the things that are not making you strong, that are not making you better, that are not making you efficient, that's not putting you in a better place, that's not giving you the strength that you need to keep living the life that you have been given. Don't you give up on life, cause once your life is over, you can't come back. Leave your mark. Help someone. Lift someone up when they down. Be the strength for others when they're weak. And maybe when you're at the weakest point in your life, someone will lift you up. Because we all struggle. No one is immune to it. So keep fighting for it. Don't give up. Live. Breathe. Life. You. That's what it's about. It's gonna hurt. Sometimes it's gonna get tough. But when it get tough, you get tough. Just make sure you make your mark. Make sure you make your mark in this world. Cause somebody didn't make it today. But you did. Keep living. Keep living strong. Don't give up. It is not about worrying about what's gonna happen tomorrow because guess what? Tomorrow doesn't owe you or me anything. And matter of fact, Tomorrow has already made up his mind. You have this moment. You can't worry about yesterday because yesterday is not coming back to look for you. Whatever you had the chance to do yesterday won't come back. But you have this moment. You have this chance to do something great with this life that you have been given. You may have been through a lot in your life. You may have been through hell in your life. But hell doesn't own you. Hell did not create you. Life has been given to you from a higher power. Something that you need to understand that no matter who you are, in this world that we live in today, Everyone must struggle. Everyone must suffer. But everybody that is going through something always has a story to tell. Most people that are successful right now had to go through something to get what they got to this day. Some people are not even willing to hurt and to feel that so that they get what it is that they want. But let's go beyond that. What about the other people out here who can't walk? What about the people out there who can't talk? What about the people out there that are suffering from diseases they cannot be cured from? What about you? What about you? What are you gonna do about the life you have? How are you gonna live? How far are you gonna go? Do you feel sorry for yourself because you're having a bad day? Do you feel sorry for yourself because you lost your job? Do you feel sorry for yourself because you just feel like you're just not having the day that you wanna have because the day that you have is not the way you want it to go? Or do you feel that you deserve a pat on your back? because you did a good thing. We all got a responsibility. We all got to be accountable. We all got to put in work, but don't give up. Because there's somebody out there right now that is hurting. 
There's somebody out there right now that is struggling. There's somebody out there right now that's got it a little bit tougher than you do. So why are you going to give up now? Anything that comes your way, you got to be prepared to accept the challenge and go through it. Don't lay on your back. If something's on your chest, get it off. As long as you're breathing, as long as that heart is pumping blood, you're not dead yet. They haven't put rose petals on your box yet. Make sure every breath you take counts for something. It's time to understand that if you want to get something out of your life, you got to be willing to work for it. How much are you really willing to give? Are you prepared to hurt? Are you prepared to struggle? Because if you're not that person, then lay back down. Stay where you are. Don't move forward. Move backwards. But if you are the person that you say you are, we don't have time to wait. Because time doesn't owe you anything. Time is not thinking about you. Time has already made up its mind. What you gonna do? Who said it's supposed to be easy? It takes grit. It takes tenacity. It takes sacrifice. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. This is not a pity party. But you got the right to celebrate the life. Because no matter if it's good or if it's bad, nothing is greater than living. Because if you're living, there's a possibility to change something. But not just change it, evolve it. Evolve it to something greater. Being able to take something that may not be nothing to others, but may mean something to you. There are so many people in this world that don't believe in you. But while you're sitting around worrying about people believing in you, why don't you focus on believing in yourself? Live, breathe, life, you. That's what it's about. All right, that ends today's episode. I basically mining. You see, I you know I lost a little bit on balance. That was about eight eight dollars of Bitcoin. I lost, so I, I was just basically mining. And this is a motivation speech. So in the grand scheme of things, uh let's see, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some of that back. I'm gonna get a cash back reward in two days. I'll be able to withdraw. So I get some of that back and then I get the the constant sticking dips over here. Uh let's see my let's see I'm at two ninety six. I think I'm at about fifty just now. Fifty um BFG. I was like at two uh, 2,900 and like 10 or something so and then for the day my payout is going to be for um, pretty much 4,000 Satoshi and then I'm going to get all this extra stuff right here and I'm just keep that let it build up so far just what I got on that the Tron USD BTT I'll just let that pile up and then I'm only going to spend the Bitcoin uh, mine the Bitcoin playing various games here on Black Fairy so that's my game plan on here I just got done playing some Kino and that's about wraps it up here on Cyber Real Estate thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this show uh, see you next episode Cyber Real Estate Nation alright peace